almost heaven West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountain Shenandoah River Life is old there Well, since the first commentary, I got tons of views on the first part, so why not do another? This time I'm going to do yet another commentary on Lorne Armstrong. And what better place to resume than going to the series of phone calls that happened a decade afterwards? Today I'm going to start with one of my favorite calls. It's titled Debbie Telling Lorne No, and it spans for about two hours. That call was part of my introduction to this genre of Lornography, and I hope you will enjoy this call as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Feeling better? No, I'm not feeling better. Why? You why? You fucking call me now when you're supposed to call me in the last two fucking days. You've been going on a fucking date. Then at 10.30 at night, you tell me you're not going to be able to call because you're still on your fucking date? Are you fucking serious? I you really think you're nice. going to treat me like that? Treat you like what? I was being nice. I'm not going to be fucking treated like something that's just fucking trashed up. To these fucking pieces of shit you're going on a date with down there. Fuck that. What do you mean? What do you I mean? I a lot fucking about? better than that. We're not dating, Lauren. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't give a fuck. What do you mean? We were we were fucking together before. When you took me away from fucking Winnie. Oh my did everything God. you could to take me away from Winnie and you fucking did it. To be honest, Debbie never took Winnie away from Lauren. Instead, Lauren dumped her so he could date Debbie, despite hating her and resenting Debbie just months earlier. I knew you were doing now that. Now you don't want I me. Knew you it. got your fucking dates down there. You're fucking by. Lauren, come on. What? Lauren, come on. Let's both come be on, adults what? here. Let's have you really? be a normal person. Really? And actually be able to have a conversation instead of holding someone to some kind of a regard that they they haven't even said that they wanted to be at. Come on, Lauren. You fucking said it before. Don't you then think all that you're you didn't want this? me. Don't you think that you're better what? than this? Don't Do I think, think I'm better than them? Better for you, yeah. Better than this? Oh, please. Lorne's adamantly proven that he's not better than this. If anything, this insane behavior is typical for Lorne. Scolding women for stuff they didn't do and stuff they'd never do. Don't you think that you're better than this? This behavior right now? Love this. You have to think that you're better than this. Done, yeah. this is, I this don't is like ridiculous. being played with at all. Who is playing I don't like being with fucking you? played with at all. Who is playing bullshit. with you, Lauren? Who's playing with you? You are. When? You when are. did I play with you? The time when You've I said we were together? Playing. When I said we, I wanted to be friends and I wanted to help you just like Emma does? Yeah. Was that playing with you? Bullshit. Yeah, the, that was playing with me with fucking Winnie too, wasn't it? What? What When you took you me away about? from fucking Winnie. Did Lauren, everything he could to get me away from Winnie. Well, you I fucking got said... me. Oh, you want to yeah. go back to Winnie? Go and get yeah, her. Yeah. And there's Don't your fucking her. buddy, buddy, fucking Angelo, the piece of shit of all pieces of shit, had to have fucking hanging around you. Every bad thing Lorne says about Angelo, we all say about Lorne. Lorne's the turd of all turds and not remotely good. Not even a good person to be around at all. <laughs> now you got these other cocksuckers and fucking Dayton down there. Don't even give me a fucking chance. Throw me to the fucking curb last night. Don't you Good fucking job. Lauren. I've told you, I don't even know how many times that I want to be friends with you just like Emma is. Why can't I be like her? Why? Because you're the one that fucking started it the other way. Lauren, but I... And I fell for you, you didn't fucking fall for me? Well, fucking what? You're not going to play with me. Well, here's the thing, Lauren. I'm not obsessed with you like fucking Angela. I told you that I wanted to be friends with you. I told you before that, unfortunately, I flirted with you, and I shouldn't have done that. Because look what yeah, happened. you flirted with me. You, look what happened. fucking full of shit. You did more than fucking flirt with me, and you know what. No, I didn't. I'm not even I'm a not radio. having any kind of fucking conversation with you about this, because all you do is deny bullshit. Deny what? Bye. What am I denying? Lauren, where are you going? What? Are you crying? Damn! <laughs>
I'm fucking pissed. Why? You don't want to give me a fucking chance now that you already fucking stole me away from Winnie. You tell me you were just flirting. You're fucking full of shit and you know it. But I told you that five You're fucking lying. So don't ever fucking say that you didn't lie. And I apologize. And you apologize. For, for I flirting said, with and, me. And you you did more you than fucking flirt with anything. me and you know it. What did I do besides that? The whole fucking time you're in the hospital, it was all me. Lauren. You know it, so don't hospital, fucking deny it. I was hurt and I was on a lot of medication. So no. Oh yeah, so me. take fucking drugs before you give me a chance? Of course. Are you fucking kidding me? No. If Debbie's injured and taking meds, why not let her rest and recover? Why won't Lorne allow her to heal before she calls him, let alone goes to his moldy, nasty trailer to visit him? It's almost like Lorne only sees women as walking sex toys and not as people. No, you're not kidding me? Good! Then I'm not kidding about this. Bye! Oh, no. Did you hang up on me again? I'm just going to have to call you back. What? It's really rude that you hang up on me like that. You shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, well, it's really rude that you call me at 1030 at night when you're still on your fucking date. I didn't call you. I texted you. That you fucking you ditched me for. That I was not going to be home on time. And I didn't want you yeah. waiting up. Because you, cause you were still on your fucking date. Lauren. Fucked up date. You can't even call me and have fucking time with me on the fucking phone. But you can go on every, a fucking date every goddamn night of the fucking week. I'm not on a date right now and I'm calling you. Oh, yeah. Gee, what a good time to call me when I'm all pissed off because of the bullshit you've already done. Well, why don't you take the stick out of your ass and not be so angry? Why would I not be angry? Well, you shouldn't after be. The way, after the way you made me fucking feel and the way that you fucking wanted us to be together. I didn't make taking you me away from feel Winnie. anything. I didn't make you feel anything, Lauren. Oh, bullshit. You, must, you fucking felt shit for me, too. Otherwise, you never would have wanted to take me away from Winnie. I didn't take you away from Winnie. You ditched her. Yeah, That's you did. Problem. You did. You'll never leave her. You're devoted to her. I don't sound like that, do I? Don't, don't think I remember a lot of the shit that was said, do you? Um, no. Things that are important to me, I, re I remember quite well. But, Lauren, as I said a thousand times, and I really, I really want to I work just want to be you. friends, and I right. want to date every guy so down why, here. Nope, I don't want to date every guy down here. Oh, I bullshit. Don't date, that's not true. Bullshit. You don't give me a fucking chance at all, do you? Lauren, you're up in Maine. You have a lot of shit going on, and I'm trying to help you out, like a friend should. Debbie's got a point. Lauren has tons of unsolved problems in his life that he needs help with. Such as living in a moldy, rotten trailer, being dirt poor, his family hating him, not having any local friends, owing people money, being stuck on probation and forever being a sex offender. Some of those problems will never get solved, but if Lorne really cared for women as friends, he could cope with those problems so much better. But sadly, all Lorne wants is a phone girlfriend to ignore reality with. Lorne's a total joke and lives in delusion. I'm up in I'm up in Maine, and you can't fucking trot your ass up here. You can trot no. your ass all over the United States. You can't trot your ass up here. I can trot my because ass because I'm not worth it to you. Wherever I want, because you I'm not fucking it, worth like, it to people you. People just have to do things for you that yeah. I have. Well, I have to prove myself to you somehow. That's fucked up, dude. Well, do that. You fucking took me away from somebody that I fucking gave a shit about. I didn't take you away. Then Obviously, I, then you didn't I, then I gave, give you a, a gave a shit about you. Obviously, you didn't because you would have stayed with her. So why are you blaming that on me? I wanted to give you a chance. I knew what Winnie was, was doing. I knew she was having a hard time getting away from the drugs. And I was tired of her. Okay, but you're blaming me for taking her away from you, and that's not what I did. But I wasn't going to leave her. Obviously, it was your choice. I wasn't. It was, it was my choice. Yeah. To give you a chance or, or to stay with Winnie Oh my god, that was not an edit I've done. That was either Lorne or Debbie accidentally touching the hang-up button. More than likely Lorne touching the hang-up button on his crappy flip phone. I didn't do that, you did. Well, it was obviously a mistake. I don't know why. I don't know why. All the other times, uh... All the other times you're on fucking dates and not mistakes. Dude, you're fucking so stupid. Does that make any sense? Please tell me. Yep, I want you to explain that to me. me. How does that make sense? How? How does it make sense? I'm on a date, so I can't fucking spend time with you. 
A date's more important. Well, no, you said that every time I'm on a date, that's not a mistake. It was last night and the night before. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> like I said, you have to be better than this, right? Again, Lorne's nowhere near better than this. What he's doing here is par for the course. It's Angry Lorne when he's being nice. When Angry Lorne is being mean, he's usually throwing stuff and screaming loud enough to rip his own lungs apart. You want to see if I'm better than this or not? Give me a fucking chance. You don't listen to anything that I say, obviously. All you try to do is find these little signs that I give a shit. Why, you don't give a shit about me? Lauren, I care about you as a person and as a friend. That's all that I know you as. Well, That's all you should know me as. Like, what the hell, man? You give me a chance. Like, give you're giving all these other what? fucking guys a chance. Give you a chance for what? To see what's between us, because there's obviously something between us. Because we get along fucking awesome. Oh, it sounds like Some fucked like up it. reason I respond to you like I don't respond to anybody else. Yeah, it really, it really sounds like we get along really well. No, well, we actually do. Yeah, I know. Except look for right now when you go on fucking dates and leave me fucking hanging. I can go on dates. I can do whatever I want, Lauren. We're not dating. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah, you yeah, I understand. And you can be without me, too. Be without you what? I'm without you now. <laughs> there is no being with you. There is none of that. You can be without you can be without me in your life. Debbie has a point. She's only wanting to be Lorne's friend, yet when any woman befriends Lorne, he always berates them whenever they want a boyfriend of their own. But why? Why does it have to be that way? Why can't why, why can't I be Because like you're giving Emma is, because you're giving all these other fucking guys a chance and you're not giving me a chance. Lauren, you're up in Maine. You have a bunch of shit going on. You have so much so stuff what? on so your what? plate. You well, need I'm not to fire figure fire. it out. You need to figure I'm not, it out. I'm not worth trying to fucking go through this shit with. As a friend, of course. And that's what I've been trying to do, Lauren. That's what I've been trying to do. And you will not let me do that. Every single day, this shit comes up for you. Every single time I have to prove that you're some fucking special person, that I have to prove somehow that you're more important than my own life and the things that I want to do so that you feel better about yourself. And that's fucked up. No, your life is very important. I These know fucking it is. dates are not important to me. They, they fucking suck to me. I don't. Okay, fine. Then they suck to you. Fine. But what because they're not fucking fair chance for me. Lauren, there is no chance you are up in Maine and you have probation, you have your sex offender class, you have a bunch of stuff that you have to figure out. I have to there figure is out. no I, chance. I, I thought you were the one person that could fucking handle that shit. And do what? I be can there with me. Help you. I can still help you deal with it. You still help me while you're all fucking some other fucking guy? You think I'm going to fucking be around you for that shit? Lorne's jealous and angry towards any guy his woman dates. Debbie's willing to help Lorne cope with his problems just like any friend would, and he repays Debbie by accusing her of being a whore that dates any random guy she meets? Wow. Lorne, are you fucking kidding friends, me? Friends typically don't care who the other one is fucking. Yeah, well, obviously, uh, you're more than a friend to me. But I'm telling you that it's and not I didn't more fucking than a do friendship. That. Yes, well, you did. You're doing it. Because I'm telling you, you're the one that like fucking that. brought it on. No, I didn't, Lauren. Yeah, you did. Your behavior is what a psychopath does. You're a stalker. Really? Yeah, you're the well, type of guy. Really? Does, that does a psychopath do this? Down, Go ahead and fuck your guys. Down. Bye. Hang up again, you little bitch. Lauren's not acting like a psychopath. He is a psychopath. Blowing up Debbie's phone with many calls and texts. Pretending to be in a relationship with her and yelling at her for dating guys in her area. What? Okay, here's where you're going to be normal. And you're not going to hang up on me and play this little well, game. I'm going to do what okay. I want to do because you want to go off fucking other guys. Go and do what you want to do, of course. I've never stopped you from doing anything. So what's really going on and why are you taking that out on me? What's really going on is... It's all about you. It shouldn't be. I was fucking fine. Remember, I found out you're on a fucking date, and that's a reason that you couldn't, didn't fucking call me last night. 
you've known that I've been going out on dates. You said that you didn't want to hear about them. I didn't, I didn't think that you were going on, on that many dates, and I didn't think that I was going to get fucking pushed to the side because of some fucking cocksucker. Well, he's not a cocksucker. That's number one. And then number two. Oh, yeah. oh he's not. So, is, how many fucking dates you been on with this guy? It's none of your business. Obviously, you really? can't handle any information. Obviously, obviously more than I want to hear, and obviously, more than you want to tell me. So you you're, 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 you're fucking. Are you you're you protecting him. Are you going to hang up? You're, you're protecting him, saying he's not a cocksucker. How is that protecting anybody? <laughs> You're so fucking defending oh him off law. Oh, I'm defending him. He's not a cocksucker. Oh, my God, Lord. He's not a cocksucker. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> What's so funny about it? Could you have to spend time in person with him? Well, because and you, you don't just with said me? that I'm defending him because I say he's not a cocksucker. <laughs> yeah. How do you know he's not a cocksucker? How is... Oh, God, Lauren. How does anyone How do you know, know? you're not? Well, you know for a fact that I'm not. I'm homophobic. No. Kind of tells you that I'm not. <laughs> you could be. How about this guy? You know he. You know he's not not a cocksucker. You don't fucking know, do you? <laughs> Who cares? Now, calling someone a cocksucker isn't great, but at least it's so much better than calling someone a scumbag pedophile. Lorne only calls other guys cocksuckers just to hide his own worst aspect. Are I care if I'm going silly. on a fucking date with him. And that's not the kind of person that I wanted. <laughs> God, you're so silly. What's so silly about it? Is I have feelings for you? Because you're saying funny because you stuff. fucking dump, dump me because you're on a fucking date I with this fucking cock dump fucker? you. How was I able to dump you? If somebody's not with you, they can't dump you, right? You fucking ditched me because you're on a date with this cock sucker. I didn't ditch anybody. Two nights in Actually, a row you fucking ditched me. I was being quite nice by telling you that I wasn't going to be home. I didn't give you any details at all because you have said that you didn't want them. So I didn't give them. I wasn't going to be home. I oh, didn't, when you, when you gave I didn't want you to be sitting there like some loser waiting for me to call. So I decided to text you and said I wasn't going to be around in time. Yeah, because you were out on a fucking date with a cocksucker. And I was, oh yeah, exactly. I was out on a date with a cocksucker. With a duke. With a duke? That's what Winnie said, with a duke. Not a prince, but a duke. Hehe, <laughs> one of the best lines from this call. And there's plenty more where that came from. Okay. In your, in your pizza bikini, making, making a cock and balls out of fucking meatballs and spaghetti. Was she washing me again? Oh my god. Did you show your cocksucker date what you were making with him? Did he start drooling when he when he uh, you made the the dick out of spaghetti? No, he laughed at it. He laughed at it. He said, "Yeah, I stuck something look like that last night." Is what he was thinking. Did you make it curved? No. Oh, you made it straight. Yeah, I made it straight. Why well, was it straight? It's none of your business. What the fuck? Oh, are so you, you know already? Ask? What the fuck, Lord? So you, so you know the fuck. You, you know? Pervert. I'm not telling you. You anything. know, hit the straight. <laughs> <laughs> really love when Debbie makes fun of Lauren's cry squeaks. It's been on with her. It's none of your business. Oh, good. You are neither my boyfriend nor my father, so you can go fuck yeah, off. Well, yeah. Well, whatever. You hang up on me. You can I don't up. fucking you care. Hang you can hang up. You can hang up. I don't fucking care. You're the one to fucking. That's what I wanted all this you to shit. say. I don't care. I wanted you to say I don't care so we can move on and actually have an adult conversation. Yeah. Well, you know I do fucking care. That is the problem. I'm pissed because you don't want to give me a fucking chance because I'm up in Maine. You You're don't want to trust Maine. your little fucking ass up here to see me. Offender. You're on probation. You don't want to tell you. Don't, you don't, I'm a so what? I'm on the fucking registry. You get You're the fuck. an alcoholic. You're an abusive motherfucker. You don't know how to treat people. Unbelievable. I've spent my time trying to help you, trying to explain Un shit to you. Unbelievable. And this is what you do. Unfucking believable. You took me away from winning. That's the biggest problem with Lorne. When his woman tries to help him out, he likes to ignore his woman and rant about her not visiting him. 
really easy to see why Lorne never learns. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. What are you doing? Looking in the mirror again? Can't believe it. Can't believe what? That I'm uh, that I'm good looking? <laughs> oh, you don't think I'm good looking? No. Guess not, because your ass down there going out with cocksuckers. Right. Making cocks on your plate. Yeah. Seeing what they think of them. Yeah, I know. You know everything. You just fucking told me that. You told me that. That's what Winnie told me. Oh, okay. Then you say, oh, she was watching. She was watching me again. What what else does Winnie tell you? Then then you fucking told me that that your fucking date thought it was too ugly. (laughs) It's It's like, what the fuck? I know. Me personally, me personally, my my opinion of it would be, I'd rather not fucking see it. Right. Whatever. One of all. Debbie's on a roll. Really love when Debbie makes fun of Lauren's dumb sounding voice. Okay, Lauren, now that we got that out of the way, are you going to tell me what's really bothering you? Yeah. I already fucking told you. Well, what is it really? Because it can't be that I took you away from All right, Debbie. Way. I can't I love you. you. That's what the fucking problem is. I love you, and I want a fucking chance. And you're not giving it to me because you're out dating fucking guys down there. And you won't come up and see me, but you'll fly clear across the fucking country to support your friend in the, in a fucking band or whatever. And you'll fly all over fucking hell, he was but you won't come under. up and see me. You won't even send me a fucking picture. Yeah, I know, because look at what you do. Look at what you do. You do you really think I'm going to fucking come try to find you? I know you can't, because that would be illegal. You know, if Lorne never got arrested for attempted rape, if Lorne wasn't on probation, and if Lorne was allowed to leave Maine, he would absolutely find and stalk any woman he met on the phone. His promises are emptier than his own wallet. I wouldn't anyway. But look at what you do. You're completely insane. I'm completely insane? Yes. I write you fucking poems. I sing to you. Yeah. I give you attention that you fucking deserve. That's all love. And I'm completely insane because of that. Yeah, because look at what you're doing now. Look at yeah, what you're I'm doing pissed now. Because you're fucking not giving me a fucking chance that I deserve. You don't deserve anything, by the way. And you can't force someone to give you a chance. <laughs> Why do you deserve a chance? Why? Uh, because I deserve for you to get to know the real me. I'm getting to know the real you, Lauren. What the hell? I have spent my time explaining things to you, working things out with you. And it all goes right into the toilet. You don't hear anything that I have to say because it comes right back down to this. You knew that I wanted to be friends with you. You knew that we did not have a relationship. I had apologized to you up and down about flirting with you at the beginning. I shouldn't have done it because you took it way over the line. I did not know that was going to happen. If I could go back, it never would have happened. Because I want to be friends with you. I don't want to mess with your head. I don't want to troll you in some way. I just want to be a good person who's trying to help you. That's it. Every single time, it's like we go through this cycle. Everything is fine. You understand. And then all of a sudden, something sets you off and you start screaming again. You start rehashing everything from all the way back at the beginning. The usual cycle of toxic emotion Lauren shows And if women are in a relationship with Lorne, that's what they have to look forward to. Thank goodness Lorne never got an actual girlfriend and never will. If you care so much about Winnie, go and get her. Tell her how you feel. Tell her that you love her. She loves you too. Ain't that funny how you fucking say this now after I get feelings for you, but you fucking didn't say it then. Say what? That I wanted to be friends with you? I told you. What? Lauren, I don't want you to be sad. Debbie, you've done enough fucking damage. Go on your fucking dates and fuck whatever fucking cocksucker you want down there, all right? What are you talking about? Don't hang up on me. That is so weird. What? You're going to start to hurt my feelings if you keep hanging up on me like that. You already hurt mine. You don't give a fuck about me. Of course I do. I don't know what the fuck you even had anything to do with me for. I I wouldn't be talking to you right now if I didn't care. Of course I do. Yeah, well, you you fucking cared in the beginning, too, remember? Lauren, I, I really don't want to have to repeat myself 500 times. Yeah, well, 
I don't want you to repeat yourself either. So I'm just fucking ending it. Why? Why can't we be friends? Why? Why? Because because uh, uh, you've fucking done enough fucking damage. But I'm not trying to do damage. That's the thing. You're taking it to yeah, that Well, level. you've done it. Why? You've done it. Why don't you see that you fucking done damage? All Go fuck your fucking cocksuckers damage? down there. Why? Leave me the fuck alone. Go fuck your cocksuckers, you little bitch. What? Lauren, come on, man. Debbie, Let's I don't think shit. one bit of anything that you fucking done to me is fucking funny at all. What a great way to win a date, right? Just cry like a bitch when you don't get your way and hang up repeatedly. So mature. I'm not laughing. I haven't ever laughed at any moment of me speaking to you. Yeah. 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 What am I going to laugh about? We talked about some really serious stuff. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure you were laughing last night on your fucking date while you were texting me. I'm not going to be home on time. Why would you think I'd be laughing? Dr. Amara winning. Why would I be laughing at that moment? God fucking knows, but you sure happy being on your fucking date. So good for you and your fucking date. Lauren, but why would I be laughing? I was being nice, and I was telling you that I wasn't going to be able to call you. It was going to be too late. Debbie, you don't want to give me a fucking chance. There's no need for me to keep you fucking hanging on, because all you've done is damage. I thought that you were getting to be a better person. Is that not true? Well... I was a good person to begin with. I just had some issues. Why can't you? I am a, I am a, me? I am a better person. But you don't want to fucking see any kind of person that I am. All you want to do is date them motherfuckers down there and not give me a chance. No, that's not all I want to do. What, I want to go to the beach. What reason I do I have to fucking surfing. hang on? It's not the only thing that I do. Yeah, well, you certainly won't come up here to fucking see me, would you? Well, Lauren, think about what would happen if I did. What would happen? You would go crazy. What do you mean I would go crazy? You would go crazy, Lauren. You would be so in love. You would. Oh, my God. You would. You don't really think you're the first beautiful woman that I've you know, fucking dated, do you? Oh. <laughs> well, number one, we're not dating. But, I mean, truthfully, you have never had a girlfriend. So let's stop kidding ourselves right there. Right. I've had a lot of one-night stands. Yeah, you don't think that you're, that you're the first beautiful woman that's been, ever been in my life, do you? Well, yeah. I mean, a one-night stand is someone who couldn't find anyone else. Yeah, well, one night stand, stand there, one more than one night stand, but that wasn't their problem. That was my problem. I didn't want any more than one night stand back then. That was my problem. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't them because they wanted more than a one night stand. I bet. I bet they were knocking at your door. Did they act like you are right now? To be honest, when Lauren talked about one night stands, we could see he spent tons of time trying to mention the names of women he slept with as well as the sex he had with them. More than likely, Lauren got jealous of his brother's winning girlfriends and he pretended he went on dates with his brother's girlfriends. When he was in the Air Force, he got jealous of guys getting dates with college girls because he knew those guys had far better personality and far better game than him. Lauren's a virgin in denial. He never truly had one night stands and he's just as desperate in 2022 as he was in 2002. I had Did to roll down the window. I had to get a had to get a hornet out of my fucking truck. Oh my god. He's anyway. outside now. Okay, good. Anyway. I think really if I came up there to see you, it would just escalate things. And that's not what I'm Dude, that's to what? Do. You you you'd actually be able to fucking get to see me in person and start getting to know me in person? You can't even right now, with us not being in person, you can't even be friends. Because I know you're not giving me the fucking chance that I deserve. Why do you think you deserve something? Because I do deserve a chance. Why? Why? Because you're the one that fucking took me away from winning. I didn't take you away. You left. Yeah, you did. How? Did I drag you away? Did I change her number so that you couldn't get in contact? Did I tell her lies about you? Nothing. You'll, never, you'll, never, you'll never leave her. You're too devoted to her. Okay, so how is that making you leave? You wanted you're to skipping leave. Around the, skipping around the hospital when you finally do get me away from her. Okay, but why do you think I'd be doing that? Do you know that that had something to do with you? Or do you think maybe I was doing that for some other reason? Winnie knew something had that it had to do with that. She wasn't stupid. You know, you pick and choose what you want to be the truth. Winnie has Winnie, already said it. Who knows? Winnie's, Winnie's fucked up and she says crazy things. And then, oh, that sounds good to me, so I'm going to believe that to be the truth. Lauren only dumped Winnie because he was tired of her verbally abusing him, constantly doing coke, and sleeping with other guys. So, of course, when Winnie went to the hospital, 
Lorne felt as if Debbie was a far more viable option, so he cheated on Winnie. She's not stupid. I never said that she was stupid. Never did. If you love her, then go back to her. Yeah, well, I love you too. So now she's married and she has Will. Something I never knew before. Yeah, but... So the kind, of, the kind of woman that I'm looking for is you. Someone that's honest and that I can trust. Well, I am being honest with you and you don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because you're the one that fucking took me away from Winnie and never gave me a, a, an honest chance. I didn't take you away from Winnie. Why me? Why not go after Emma? She's known you for a really long time. She knows you better than anyone. She's not the same type of person that I'm looking for. Why? Because she's not the type of person I'm interested in. Why? Because she's not the same type of person that I am. Oh, you're saying that I'm like you? And you're honest, even, even even though I know I've been dishonest. I used to be just as honest as you. you I just needed I to get it back. To I, need, to I needed to get that. away from certain people. I needed to get away from certain people and away from certain things. Right. And I'm getting my old self back, and I, I like it. If Lauren's talking about getting his old self back, he means he's trying to return to the life he had back in 2002 when he was able to go online, when he was able to leave Maine, when he didn't have probation, and when he wasn't a sex offender. He'll never get the freedom his old self had because he used the internet to groom a small girl. The only time his old self was good was when he was a small boy. But I'm certain even Kid Lauren was terrible. Fantastic. I'm glad that you're happy. But Emma's an honest person, too. She's Emma's not completely so honest. Well, neither are you. Yeah. So you know what? You can't throw stones at her and make it like, oh, yeah, I can't be with Emma. She's not the type of person that I am. Walk around with your nose up in the air. Really? What are you doing? What? What am I doing? What are you doing? What? Yeah. Walking around what? with your nose up in the fucking air like I'm not good enough for you. Well, you're not. We both know that. Oh, we do. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Roar. Yes. Well, I say different. Okay. You don't want to find out? That's, that's going to be your problem. Bye. No, don't hang up. Lauren, please. Come back. What? 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 See, you can't tell me you're not fucking attracted to me because it, it's even in your voice that you're attracted to me. It is. How? What do I, I can tell like? it's in your voice. I'm not the I'm not the only one that can tell it that it's in your voice. What do I sound like? Why? Job. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Didn't think I didn't think I realized it before, did you? I I heard you doing it. What? Because I say you. job. Yeah, I'm mocking uh, you. Yeah, yeah, you're mocking me. <laughs> yeah. All these little things that I do that you, uh, that you really think are cute, but you tell me just the opposite. Lauren really thinks Debbie saying his lingo back to him is because she loves him? If that's the case, then Lauren's totally delusional. Debbie's only saying Lauren's lingo back to him because she's mocking him. She hates him, and she knows he's a pedophile. What's even funnier is that she's not talking trash behind Lauren's back. She's saying it directly to him on the phone. It's funny. You say funny shit, and you say it in a funny way. I know. All these, all these little things that, that, that you say that are bad uh, bad things about me and they're just the opposite. You think just the opposite way. Okay, well go ahead and think that. <laughs> right. you know, no, like I'm a bad singer. You said that before when I was with Winnie. Well, yeah, you are a bad singer, Lauren. You don't do anything to improve yourself. Have you quit smoking? No. That's why you enjoy my singing, right? It's funny. First of all, it's, Lauren, it's you call up funny. and one of the first things you say is, I don't know all the words, but I'm going to sing it anyway. And then you yeah, kind of... Yeah, because they're fucking 1980s songs that I can't scream, remember all the words to. You scream the songs at the top of your lungs. Half the time... I do. I put everything into it. Bad, and they're static on the radio. It's funny. Oh, so there's none of the songs that I sang to you that you like my singing on. Them. It's no wonder Lauren had no chance at country music in Nashville. Putting everything into it doesn't include screaming the song, not knowing half the lyrics, and coughing while singing. Notable example, And a thunder run, and a lightning strike. Delusion from Lorne again. Alright. Well, no, you're not my type of singer. Alright. Seems like I'm not your type of everything. Yeah, you're my type of friend. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whatever. Why whatever? Why, Why don't you ever? want to accept that? You accept it from everyone else. Because you, you always tell me one thing and it's always another fucking thing. What do you mean? Like what? 
like everything, Debbie. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this. What? I'm not fucking playing game. I'm not playing game. Lauren, I'm not playing a game. I'm probably so, the only honest person in your life. Yeah, well, you haven't been completely honest either. Yes, Go I have. Go fuck your guys. Go fuck your okay, guys. Okay, how many can I have at one time? Oh, damn it. Now I'm never going to know. What? Okay, well, the what is starting to be not as rude. So what do you want? I want to be you don't want me. You. You, don't want, you don't want me. You don't want to give me a fucking chance like I deserve. It, you know, it's fucking, it's fucking tired of stupid bullshit. So but I'm not feeding you. I'm not feeding you bullshit. Yeah, well, don't feed me bullshit. You sure did, certainly did before and you know what. I'm fucking tired of shit like that. Oh, my God, Lauren. Oh, when are we going to get past this? That's what I want to know. When I get a fair chance. Well, when you get off probation and you get through your class and you have plastic surgery, then maybe we can talk. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't need I know for a goddamn fact I don't need plastic surgery. Well, you can't afford it, but you definitely need it, though. Like, your ears are no, mismatched. No. Your teeth are backwards, weirdly spaced out. Your nose is bulbous and humongous. The back of your head is flat. You have a very odd profile. No, I don't. His profile isn't just odd-looking. It's hideous. His nose is flat but shaped like a strawberry. His teeth are spaced out, loose and rotting. The back of his head is flat and his eyes are uneven. Lauren literally looks like a cartoon drawing brought to reality. Yes, you do. It's okay, no, though. No. It's okay. There's going to be someone who's not going to care. Debbie? What? I'm not going to listen to your bullshit. Yes, you are. What? Hello. What? What? What do you want? I don't want you to be mad at me. Makes me sad. Well, well, maybe you should have thought about that a long time ago. I probably should have, but I didn't. No, because it wasn't important then. You were just interested in me a long time ago. No, I wasn't. No, you were. Of course you were. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Of course you were. Right. Of yeah, course you were. Yeah. Of course you were. Right. Yeah, you didn't come. You didn't come three times in the fucking hospital while making me stay on the phone and have phone sex with you. And send right, I didn't. On, on the patio. Right, I didn't. Right, I didn't. Yeah. Right, yeah, I didn't. Right. Yeah, yeah you, you full of shit. Fucking too. freak. What do you want? What's the matter, Lauren? Can't take it. Can't take what? So Lauren hangs up again when he's not getting what he wants. He's very immature. He really is. Huh? You How do actually you listen? to listen to your fucking that... bullshit. I'm tired of listening to your bullshit. I actually want you to act like a human for once. Do you want to try? Yeah, well, I want you. I want you to act like a human for once too, and you don't. I have been. No, you haven't. Who holds on to something when someone's in the hospital and they think something happened when they're heavily medicated, practically in a coma, and you take that and you're like, "Oh, she loves me," and I'm going to sit well, here on the phone. Well, maybe she's didn't want anybody else. whatever. I'm going to sit there and jerk off to it like a fucking disgusting freak. You didn't, you didn't want anybody else. You didn't. I didn't want anybody else. You didn't want anybody I else around. I don't know what you're talking about because of course you it's don't. almost as if I wasn't even there, idiot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, you obviously don't. I didn't know you anything with your you fucking people, pathetic you friend either, people, did I? You don't want people to take things that you say when you're drunk. Seriously. But I can't be in the hospital for weeks and be really sick and on a lot of medication. You're going to take that and you're going to hold it as the truth. Now hold it as the truth because you're the one that made me and you be together. Because that's all you have. Before. Before, before you ended up in the hospital. Because your mind is fucking twisted be- and mushed. Before you, before you ended up in the hospital. You're the one that put me and you together. No, I didn't. You act like yeah, you, you just did. sat back. And you I fucking did. You up Stop your I fucking lying, Winnie Debbie. Me, and then Winnie, I pushed her aside. You act like that actually happened. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. the one. You're who fucking did lying it. again. You're the one who yeah. did it again. Yeah, this is again. what I'm saying. I'm, again, Lauren. Again. I'm tired of your again. fucking lies. You're gonna hang up. You're gonna hang tired up. Tired of your fucking lies. You're gonna hang up. Liar. 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 Any normal person would have been worried and concerned for their friend's health while they're in the hospital. It's disgusting that Lauren finds comatose women as a free chance for romance. Literally something a stalker would do. Anyway. So how did there wind up being so many things wrong with the way I look? What do you mean? How did it happen? 
when, when you you are the only woman that I've ever had point out anything wrong with my lips. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. You cannot. <laughs> okay. I think that Winnie may have made a list once. <laughs> oh, Winnie. You Winnie makes a list her? of everything with everybody. No, I don't want you to call her. Why? No, I don't. Because last I knew she was on the phone with your mother. Okay. And I don't want to, I don't want to, if I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you right now. I don't want a three-way conversation. Well, if you're going to talk to me, then talk to me and don't hang up like a little fucking bitch. Well, start start trying to give me an honest chance. At what? At at getting to know me and giving me a chance to fucking I am getting to know you. you. And I don't want to date you. What the fuck, Lauren? All right. Well, I don't don't see that we need to fucking go any further then. Isn't Lauren usually fine with multiple girls talking with him at once? He enjoyed that during the time he dated Winnie, but hated it when Winnie hung up on Emma. However, Lauren was so clingy, he still hung on to Winnie despite her being abusive like him. Why? (laughs) What? Why would you think that we're together? Because we were together before. And I never got a fair chance with you. And I'm pissed off about it. If you don't want to give me a fair chance, you just want to date every fucking guy down in Florida that you can. So go ahead and do it. I'm out of the way. You don't have anything to worry about with me. Well, you're not in the way. I'm friends with you. Yeah. I know I'm not in the way. Right. So You don't don't want me in the way. Every fucking time you turn around, you say, we're not together and... And you're not giving me a chance, so I don't see I any reason for us say, going any further. I wouldn't have to say any of that if you didn't have to go back there every time. Well, you tell me you're not going to give me a chance. I don't see any reason for us to go any further. But you don't expect that type of stuff from Winnie now. I think she's your friend, isn't she? Yep. Okay, and Emma's your friend. Yep. Okay, so why can't I be your friend? Em- Emma was married when me and Emma met. Okay, fine. And I don't but and you... I don't date married women. I didn't know Winnie was Are you wasn't married. Me that you didn't if I knew try. if I knew Winnie wasn't if I knew that Winnie was married, I never would have dated Winnie. Lauren would latch on to another guy's woman if he had the chance, and if he thought he could get away with it. Two years earlier he tried doing the same thing with Ramona when she revealed that she catfished Lauren for ten months because she hated him. Somehow Lauren tried getting a relationship out of Ramona anyways. Talk about desperate. Okay, but you did. But I did. Right. And then you happened, and you got me away from winning. I didn't get you away from anyone. Why is it that you're the only person who has no free will? Why? Are you fucking kidding me? I think. Why would you you, still? Why would you fucking deny that shit? I don't think that you really wanted to be with Winnie anymore. I think you were sick of her. I think she was driving you insane. I was sick of her bullshit. I right. Her. I was sick of her. I was sick of her bullshit. Yes, exactly, and that's why you wanted to go. <laughs> but you're the one that got me away from her. I didn't get you away from anything, Lauren. Still, it's fucking deny it. Unfucking believable. Oh my god, it really is unfucking believable, isn't it? It is. I wish you could hear yourself. I wish you could hear yourself. I can. Yeah, you can, and you don't seem to fucking understand how, how much you're fucking lying about shit. <laughs> Lorne definitely hurt himself before, and he got jealous. A few months earlier, when he played one of Lorne's own voicemails back to him, and Lorne got jealous because he thought it was another guy. Now that's hilarious. But what am I lying? I'm being truthful with you. No, you're not being truthful. I have, and you're denying it when I say that there was flirting at the beginning that got out of hand. I've never, ever got had out that of hand my before. Ass. I've never, I'm you telling you, why are you purpose. telling me that what I'm saying on, isn't true? You're picking you did the whole and choosing fucking shit on what purpose. you want to be you true. You knew what You're you were doing. Like last night? You knew what you were what doing. About last you knew what night? fucking time it was. You knew you said you were going to call me last night. You were on your fucking date. Lauren, your date wound up being out. more important than me. It's like the night before. My life is more important than you, Lauren. I can do whatever I want with it. Yep, you you are not more important go, than the things that I want to do. Go get your dates. Go get your dates and have your fuck time with them. You don't want to give me a chance and no need for us going any further. Dude, you're so fucking stupid. You are one massive pile. Oh, God. What? 
It's not fuck time yet, so I want to talk to you. No, like, why? You, you don't you don't have your date? You hadn't showed up yet? No, I'm not going out tonight. No, just on, just last night. So you had your yeah, fuck time last night. I went out last night. So you had your fuck time last it's night. It's none of your business what I did. No, yeah, well, give him a fucking call. Go fuck him again for all I care. No, you do care. You're probably going to cry about it. So instead of that, why don't we just stay on the phone and we can work this out? It's so disgusting of Lorne to think that any woman who doesn't want to talk to him would go around the streets giving sexual favors to random men. Lorne really has no respect for women and what they want to do in life. What's it going work out, Debbie? You don't want to give me a fucking chance. I ain't going to fucking cry, cry and fucking whimper over you. I don't want you to. After the fucking damage you've fucking done. I don't want you to cry. Go get your fucking date. I want you to be a man and hang up the phone like a baby. What? Why do you keep answering if you don't want to talk to me? Why do you keep calling if you want to go fuck somebody else? I told you that I'm not going out. Well, it was just last night. I went out last night, yes. What's the big deal? Whatever. You want to give every guy down here a fucking chance? Don't want to give I don't chance. give every guy down here a chance. Well, you don't give me a chance either, so that's my problem. That is your problem, because you sound crazy. I'm not crazy at all. No, you really are, though. Because I'm no, explaining I'm stuff to you... And I'm actually trying to be a nice person to you, and you can't have that. And I'm explaining stuff to you, too. You just want someone to be on the phone and be like, I love you, Lauren. You could be like, I love you, baby. And all of that stuff, that's exactly what you want. You just want to be on, on the phone with someone all the time. That's why you loved talking to Winnie all the time. That's exactly what Lauren wants out of a woman. Her being on the phone with him constantly, listening to every mundane detail in his lonely, boring, pathetic life. He was the same exact way with Kayla 12 years earlier, asking her if she heard him chewing a sandwich. I want you in person, but you don't want to fucking be in person. Right, I you don't. You want to hide yourself. No, I don't want to wanna, hide myself. Yeah, I don't do. have to. Yeah, but the yeah, point you don't even is... Send me a, you don't even send me a fucking picture of you. So don't tell me you don't want to fucking hide yourself. But look what you've done without seeing a picture. Look what you've done without meeting face-to-face. You, know, face good, to you face. know goddamn well I'm not going to fucking hunt you down and try to find you. No, I know that you're not going to. You don't have the resources to do that, and you can't travel. And I wouldn't do afraid. it anyway. I'm not afraid. I, don't I wouldn't fear. do it anyway. That's I'm, the fucking I'm doing point. it so that this doesn't go further to where... Nope. You are going to be like, oh, you showed me a picture, so therefore you must like me. You must think I'm special. I don't want to uh, go I'm there. Doing this as a, I'm doing this so it doesn't go further either, because you've, you've done enough fucking damage. You don't want me. You want every fucking guy down there. You, you can go on a fucking Again, date whatever. I don't. I mean, seriously, why do we have to keep going through this? Why? Because you don't want to give me a fucking chance. I'm not hanging around. Lauren doesn't respect boundaries at all. He'll only be Debbie's friend if she gives him an honest chance at a lifelong romantic relationship. I actually don't want to be my friend. No, is, is you're, you're, you're the one that did, did all the fucking damage. You don't want me to help you the way that I've helped you all of this time? You're the one that did all the fucking damage, Debbie. But why? Why can't we don't be friends? Don't keep fucking denying bullshit. Why can't we be friends, Lauren? Why? Why would I want to be? When you tell me that you don't fucking... That, 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 you get me away from fucking Winnie, then all of a sudden you tell me you, you don't want anything to do with me? Fuck you. I'm worth a lot fucking more than that. Then prove it. Prove it. Do you uh-huh. why you don't fucking want me anyway, remember? Right, I don't. But that doesn't mean all right, there's not goodbye. some drunk hillbilly loser that has no teeth that want you. Hello. Hello, everyone. Damn! <laughs> What? Why are you being such a douche? Because you're being a bitch to me. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm being nice to you. No. No, you're not. Have you ever had anyone who actually fought to be your friend? Who argued with you to be your friend? <laughs> anyone? I deserve a fucking chance, and I'm pissed off at you about saying, you know, you wouldn't give me a chance. Then be pissed well, off at me. That's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't mean I have to have you in my life either, because that makes it worse. Because then I Why have to fucking talk to you and know. Because I would feel because more it's... comfortable talking to you if I didn't have to feel like I had to walk on eggshells and be careful what I say because you're going to pick out every little thing. Be like, oh, you're going on a date, aren't you? 
And then you get all mad. Then I get nasty text messages and voicemails. I don't need to go through any of that. <laughs> well, you're going out on a date, aren't you? Go out with your fucking guys, aren't you? You're going to lose me if you're not being honest with me. Again, it's the summary of a relationship with Lorne. If his woman isn't talking to him or answering his texts and calls, then he'll find reasons to call her out. Even if his woman was busy at work or using the bathroom, Lorne will still see that as her cheating on him. Yeah, well, you think I need to fucking know that you're going on a date and fucking meet somebody and you go fucking them? Well, here I am fucking still loving you. I don't fucking need that shit. And you don't want to give me a chance? And I know goddamn well I'm not fucking ugly. I don't give a fuck what you say about that. Okay, You're fine. fucking blind to that. That's your own fucking problem. Okay, fine. It's not mine, but I'm not gonna, I don't have to fucking stand around and uh, stick around for somebody that thinks I am ugly. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that think you're ugly, and you have to stand around them. So you can be on the phone with yeah. me. I can, I can fucking take other shit on from people, too. Other people, too. Like what? I, I haven't met any one fucking person in the world that's been perfect. No, there's nobody. Yeah, that, in, that includes you. That includes you. Yeah, so? The only one I've ever met close to has been Mom. A mom. I knew that was coming. <laughs> You're fucking right. I love my mother. Mom! Lauren's backup topic when he's unable to prove his own worth to his fake girlfriend. He worships his own mother and talks about her being perfection, despite his own mother openly hating him, putting him down and knowing he's a disgrace. When Lauren says to her own mother that he loves her, she replies with, Yeah, whatever. You gotta be quite a bad person for your own mother not to reply back with, I love you too. She's I know awful. you do. You spend so much time with her, I know. She doesn't fucking judge people off a lot. You spend so she much actually, time with her a lot. It's gets, really nice how you go them. over her house every day and make sure she's good. I spend a lot of time with my mom. Yeah, you never spend time over here. That's what she said. Well, no, I, I see her all the time. She wouldn't have said that. I don't, need, I don't need to be over or else to see her. Well, where are you going to see her? I see her in other places. Like what? The fair? The, uh, that's, not, that's not the fucking point. Oh. The fair is where Lauren tried to meet up with Molly. A true story from the discussion Debbie and Emma had with Lauren from a separate call. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I thought you were going to stop smoking. I am. It's not so easy to stop smoking. I thought you were going to do that for Winnie so that you could give her a kidney. Now she has to keep moving that magnet. Have you told her? I am I am trying to stop. It's not easy to stop. But you're not stopping. So have you told her not to be I'm not stopping, but I've cut, I've cut back. I've cut back. Right. I'm, I'm going to tell her I'm going to tell her that we're going to move the day back. She knows she not understands already that it's hard to quit. Oh, she knows that she's going to have to move the date again. Because she was really happy the last time that you said, this is the date. This is when I'm doing it. Well, you can go a year from now. I know. But I got things in my life that are a little stressful. and Yeah, she does too. But I've got that. kidney is not going to hang on forever. I know. Well, you're healthy. Why don't you give her one of yours? You're a sister. I can't. Why can't you? Because her body will reject mine. How do you know that? Because I've already been tested. You don't think so that I've been brother? tested for my sister? We've all been tested. What about your brother? Who the hell knows what planet Winnie came from? None of us are matches. Of course we did that, Lauren. <laughs> well, you never told me that before that you did it. Okay, well, I'm telling you now. The fact is, she would be so incredibly happy if she could have yours. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Real dope. The idea of having part of me and her. Yeah, it's never going to happen, though, because you can't just stop smoking. Well, you can't just stop. It's hard to just stop. That's why they invented things to try to get to help people stop. Then you shouldn't have told her that you were stopping and that that was the date. Well, they've been moved back a bit, but I'm trying. I'm trying very hard. I've gotten yeah, it to sounds cut like down. it. Sounds like it. I've got down. I've, uh, I've got down, so I'm. I am getting there. Lauren's been trying to cut back on smoking since his chat with Kayla. It's all been empty promises that led to nothing. In the chat, he claims he did smoking just to look older and it worked. He's 51 today and he looks like he's 76. He especially smoked three times as many cigarettes during the robot saga because he wasn't allowed to drink any beer. 
He didn't cut down on beer and cigarettes until probation forced him to stop. I'm just saying that you've told her that you're quitting. You've made that promise a million times and you can't stick to it. So just don't bother making it. Well, I am quitting. Okay. I'm trying very hard. I know. I know. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sounds like you're trying to back off on going on a date, too. Why would I have to? You don't. We're in. Fuck any guy down there you want. Right, I can, because I'm an adult woman. Yeah, you already did. Yeah, and you can fuck whatever guy you want, too. And you'll never find me fucking a guy. I'm like the date that you had last night. Oh, that silly, silly brain of yours. Well, tell me why it is you, you, judge, you judge people off of looks all the time. I don't do it all the time. Really? Yeah. It seems awful funny that you're constantly saying something to me about looks. Well, yeah, I'm saying it to you, but I don't say that to anyone else. I wouldn't want to... The only woman who actually said something good about Lauren's looks had to be a family member, but even then it would have been over 30 years ago, not too long after Lauren left high school. I hurt their feelings. Okay, so what about what about that girl that had Winnie's phone when she invited you to go swimming? Oh, yeah, Linda. That was different. Why was that different? Because... Why was that different? She has meowy eyes. And there was some stuff coming out of it. It's like a... Yeah, I I understand that it was gross. It was like yellow matter custard dripping out of a dead dog's I eye. I understand that it was gross. And I was yeah, on the phone with her when you came up. I was right. on the phone with her when you he, he came up because she, she was all excited about you coming over. And she didn't even realize the stuff was coming out of her eyes. Interesting. She, I think that was the last time I talked to her because that was, that was when you and I first started out. Oh. Anyway, it upset me a little bit because of what she said that she was going through with her roommates that her roommates were picking on her. Well, why did you stop talking to her if you felt so bad for her? She didn't, she didn't have the phone anymore. Moe, Miaoi, Mui. Didn't understand what Debbie said there, but the girl who took away Winnie's phone and bullied her is an awful roommate. Winnie didn't care how nasty that girl's eyes were because she was so excited to talk with Lauren again. Oh, but you still would have? I still would have talked to her, but then she also started coming on, too, and, and I was like, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, you like it, though. You may pretend like you don't at the very beginning, but then you give in, just like with Rhoda. No, I didn't know I are going to give in. That's the reason I stopped talking to her. I wasn't going to. What is your hang-up with wasn't and weren't? Because you don't use them properly. So what? So what? You sound like a fucking moron. Maybe I like using them like that. It might be, might not be the correct way to say it, but who in the fucking United States actually does say anything correctly? Nobody. I have never heard anyone say weren't in the wrong way like you do. <laughs> well, that's the only thing I say in the wrong way. Really? What else do I say in the wrong way? There's a ton of stuff. I can start making a list. Most people say wasn't and weren't in the correct way. Lauren's the only one who doesn't. When Lauren uses wasn't and weren't backwards, it makes him look stupid. It's no wonder he was 87th place in his graduating class. But you don't want to be friends with let's me, do, so I'm this. sure that this let's... is the last conversation we'll ever have. Well, you don't want to give me a chance. I just want to no, I don't, want, I don't want to date other... you. Yeah, you wanted yeah. to before, but now you don't. You just want to give every guy, other guy a chance. Well, every other guy knows how to say weren't and wasn't properly, so. Well, every other guy likes to cock and pussy, too. They do? Yeah, like your date last night. You seem to be talking about yourself. No, I wasn't your date last night. No, but I was you were talking, that, I was only, you were talking I was just the one that you were supposed, you? To be, supposed to be spending time with last couple of nights. Yeah. Oh, my Heaven. God. Were you talking about yourself? I'm not into cock. Yeah. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> No, you are, though. You must be. Sorry to disappoint you on that. You're obsessed with it. No. Yeah. Not even, not even a little bit. Don't a lot of out. it. No. That's not the correct way to say that. What? A lot of it. There's no such thing as a lot of it. <sighs> not the correct way to say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I was saying that as being sarcastic. You say weren't and wasn't in the wrong way because you don't know how to say it in the right way. Well, maybe I just don't put much thought into it just because I know what I'm saying. 
Well, no, you don't know what you're saying. That's the point. Well, I weren't concentrating on it. <laughs> I weren't concentrating on it. Exactly. I'm oh, sorry. I wasn't concentrating on it. I'm yeah. supposed to say it backwards. Again, with using weren't in the wrong context, it wasn't the alcohol that made Lauren this stupid. He was saying wasn't and weren't the wrong way for decades, even when chatting with Kayla. I wouldn't bring you any pizza. Also, he still talked like that when chatting with the robot 13 years after the sting. I don't want to disappoint you on that. Anyway, can we be friends? You going to give me a chance? At what? Being your friend? Of course. A chance at us actually you know, dating at some point. No, I can't say that now. Well, I can't say that we're going to be friends either. Okay. That's really too bad. Because that's, that's what really we could be right now. Don't... And you don't want to do that. We could date sometime too and you don't want to give that a chance. No, because I don't know you in that way. Well, you're getting to know me in that way. You're getting to know me, but, but you're telling me out straight that you don't want to date me ever. I'm telling you out straight that I don't want to date you. Tell you what? Can you hear me? I'm, yes. All right. We might get chopped up a bit because I'm next to a river. Ah, uh, okay. I hope you it don't might fall even in. Be one point where, no. Oh, you it might heard be that. one point about, yeah, I heard that. You hope I don't okay. fall in. Right. It tells, me, it tells me you must care about me because you don't want to see me die. I must. So there's a start. I always said that I cared about you as a person, Lauren. Any normal friend would try saving their friend if they fell into a river, no matter what gender one or the other is. It's ridiculous that Lauren can't understand real relations with women. Men can have friendships with women without it being sexual, you know? Seeing how long this call is, I can't fit it all into one part. So I'll continue talking about it in the next part. Until then, have a good day.